So we're back here and Bunnies TV is proudly brought to you by Daryl Lee, George's Cameras, Site Pizza, the Juniors Gripper Clubs, Dot Build Constructions, NG Farrah, Bunnaby Water, and Blast Pit. Okay, welcome to Redfern Able, live and free on Bunnies TV. And this is our fourth live stream back to back. And we're just getting set up. The, the girls just caught us, they come out a bit early. And, uh, but yep, we're, we've had a long day, me and Brownie. Chaps isn't here. So it's me, Steve Maven, on the camera and chatting. The wind's got up. This is causing havoc, the wind. We're a bit worried the laptop's going to blow off the, <laughs> off the, off the, uh, we're in our position up here at the back of Redfern Oval. But, um, what's the old saying? A blow a dog off a chain, mate. Blow, blow dogs off chains, yep, yep. But, um, that's all right. We'll manage. And we won't be back here till round seven, uh, when we are back for all four grades again. So we've got a bit of a break. So that's why we thought we'd do the four games. And here they come, the women. Now we'll go through the teams, Brownie, once I yeah. get set up. And well, I'll read out the Rabbitohs teams now. And the fullback is Molly Tagaloa. Tagaloa. And number two is Paige Knapp. Yep. Number three, Patricia Rakadroka. Sorry about the pronunciation. Number four, Michaela Ellie. Number five, Tasman Barber. Number six, Piku, Piku Duff, number seven, Sean Filippo. And in the forwards, we've got number eight, Marty Longford. Number nine, Janae Collins. Number 10, Sinetti Kilisamasi. Number 11, Josephine Marges. Number 12, Tia Cook. Number 13, Rachel Simpson. Number 14, Nikki Peringi. Number 15, Time Timek. Tamekwa Duckett. Sorry about that. Tamekwa, yeah. Tamekwa Duckett. Number 16, Emma Rene Renema. And number 20, Nicole Backhouse. The Bulldogs at fullback, it's Abby Church. They've got on the wings, Georgia Ravix as they kick off. We'll go through it. And Saracen Oliver. In the centres, Shanai Lendelin, Mahalia Murphy. The six is Anika Wilson. The halfback is. Let me just turn this around okay. the camera. So I'm filming here and talking as well. Uh, Renee Target. Uh, the number eight is uh, Holly Wheeler. You might have heard of her. She plays for the Gillaroos. Number nine, Ruben Cherrington. The other front row is Tara McGraw West. In the second row, we've got Sarah Saltia and Shinoa Amone. Sorry, I've missed that. Um, the 13 is Mona Lisa Soliola. On the bench, we've got Christy Sand. The girls, South girls, go downfield here, right in front of us here. Um, 15 is Teka, Te Teka Ranga Katoa. Uh, and just like I said, I'm just trying to read and film. And uh, we've got Le Leilani Wilson and Shannon Muru. So that's the, the doggy side. Now we've got some players to watch here. I'm going to bring up the chat. Um, hang on. So we just wait to get to the They uh, just caught us a bit off guard, all the viewers out there. A nice oh. little kick there from... Take a lower, I think it was, the fullback. Yeah. Yep, so you just click on that chat thing there. See that? Just go like that. Oh, well, there you go. And we've got our new channel member, Davey R, in the chat. So you can live chat with us. We are brought to you by Daryl Lee. You can live chat. You can give us a donation in the super stickers and the super chat. Because we are doing this off our own bat. Brownie's had a day off work. And they've given away a penalty there. They've compounded a... Given the doggies a little uh, a free ride out of their own end. As the wind blows here... At Redfern Oval, it was nice and sunny. It's still sunny, but the wind has picked up a little bit. Yeah, it's causing havoc with our paperwork and our laptop. And, and our results, too. And our results, because too. Uh, we, oh, and it didn't go out, and it's causing havoc with the kicks for the line, <laughs> there too. There you go. So there you go. So that, that's worked out nicely. I'm just going to try and adjust a few things here. There we go. Uh, and as the Rabbitohs go on to the attack here yeah. in the Harvey Norman women's game, Yep. And it's nil all. They've only just kicked off if you've just joined us here at Redfern Oval. We've got some players to watch. We're going to go through it for those that are new to this team. There's a lot of new faces in this women's team. So nice we're going to run from Tia Cook and up Collins right. takes off out of dummy half. Oh, nice catch and pass there. It came off the Bulldog. So six it's to six go. again. And Tagaloa picks it up and scoots infield. Oh, it'll be nice to open with some points here. They put 50 on the Dragons last week, this women's team. Highly touted. But our girls are on the attack here. No, Rachel Simpson, a nice little ball player. She's playing a little couple tip-ons there as Collins out of dummy half, looking to offload. 
Collins. A nice ball. Nice ball. Oh, what a pass. Here we go. Oh, we're in. what a great pass there right. from Piku Duff. Number there you, six. There you go. And I think she's been named as one of the players to watch. Well, let's Brownie. have a look. Have a look on the replay there. Brownie's got it set up there, I think. Yeah, so Piku a, Duff. A, she is a player to watch. A gun. She's coachable first year league, played union, and she was our best player last week. I'm just watching on the replay. This was an absolute pearler of a ball. It was a cutout ball that went about 20 metres and found space on the outside. And the winger down there on the left hand edge. Um, we've just got paperwork everywhere here, guys. That might have been a uh, nap down there on the left hand wing. Yeah. I think, oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, we, we were missing that, but... The, yeah. wind, the wind is crazy, Rob. Yeah, you're 100% right. I'm not sure whether you can hear it, guys, uh, but it's settled down a little bit now. Yeah, and so we'll just show you the laptop there. So it was shaking around a bit now. It's gone. It's settled down a bit now, but that's what we're watching. And so when you put a, a, a something in the chat like David R, our new channel member, we see that, and then you can see Rob's comments there. So we're trying to watch that, watch the play, you know, I'm working the camera, chatting and that, and we'll watch this goal now. So this would be a nice... Well, uh, this, for Channel 9, this is a 10-man job. It is. And we're doing it with two. Exactly. So, to you all you viewers well, out tell there. You what. Oh, yes, yes, and she's kicked it from the sideline. Beautiful kick there. Who was that, Brownie? What a great kick. Well, let's try and pick Get up the, the number. Pick up the number. What's this girl here? So, well, like I said, there are new, they are new to us. I was at training yesterday, but... Um, yeah, oh. she'll turn around in a minute and we'll get this number, Brownie, yeah, I think. Or maybe she won't. Yeah, she'll, she'll turn around. We'll get her number. And number four by the looks of it. Yeah. And it's Ellie. Michaela Ellie. What a great conversion from the sideline. Yes. To take the score to six points to nil over the Canterbury Bulldogs in the Harvey Norman women's game with 30 minutes to go in the first half. Yeah, so we... The, the, our girls had a loss down at uh, Illawarra last week and these girls had a big win over the, over the Dragons. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, interesting, uh, make, interesting, and there's a little offload there. That's a good nice ball. play. That play on. A bit risky there in your own line, but you got it away. Oh and uh, it's a dream start here. Shane, Sol Shane Sultana is the coach of these girls. And and the halfback there, Filippo, who went into dummy half, she's just trying to settle the team down just to take it easy. There'll be a lot of excitement over that kick from the sideline in the first try that we scored. Oh, a bit high there. And sure. Janae Collins takes it out of dummy half and it was a got hit. And yep. a great tackle there from the Bulldogs, number 12, which is Shana Amon. Yep. I wonder if she's related to Tom, the former Tommy South Amon. Sydney Rabbitoh, yeah. who is now applying his trade over in the UK with the Wigan Warriors as Collins. And a nice ball out there, out the back to Duff again, who, gee, she's a good player, Duff, by the looks of it. I haven't seen much of this team play. Duff goes down the short side again, looks to create oh, another ball. nice ball. Tell you what, they've started well, our They've girls. started fast, haven't they? We need a win. Oh, it's a turnover on the last That's there. okay. That's where you want to turn it over. Yep, yep. And yep. On, the, on the 10 metre line of the opposition. So We hope we've got a lot of people on here live streaming uh, for the Harvey Norman women's girls yep. match. Uh, this is round two as well. Uh, the Bulldogs came off a, a big win last start. You probably hear the wind there through our headsets. We can... Definitely hear it. So, and if you know any of the girls, please feel free to live chat. Uh, if you've got any information on the girls, we don't know much about them. Uh, it's yep. only a couple of times we've seen them play, but we love watching the women's game. It's a great concept, and it's come along leaps and bounds in the NRL. That's uh, a good run there from number 12, Brownie. Yep, and that's a moan once again. Number 10 here, the front rower. Tara, Tara McGrath, West. Another big girl playing up the middle, in the middle. Oh, show and go from the hooker. Ruben Charrington. Knocked back. And oh, there's a knock on. a knock on. There's a knock on. And the ref was there. Shout out to the refs too. We love the referees' work here. Make sure you be kind to our referees because they are doing an important job in our game. A lot of them are young kids who are just out there doing their best. And the referee made a good decision there. I think it could have nearly been a knockback. But anyway, I'm not going to say that because he made a good knock. I'll just give him a rap. <laughs> but yeah, so we've got the ball now. It's There's 27 minutes 30 left in the first half. And it's a bit of a shock here, Brownie. There's, our girls are in the in the front. 
And I'll just go through. Well, they deserve to be too, maybe. They're playing some great footy, expansive footy. Yeah. Um, our 5'8". Uh, Fiku. Pahuka. Pahuka, maybe. Duff, if, if you've got another pronunciation, please let us know. But, gee, she looks a great talent. Yeah, she does. And also, look, keep an eye on the fullback, Molly Tagalawa. She's a player to watch. She's a skillful young girl. First year in rugby league. She played union. And, you know, Paige Knapp, she's uh, number two. Keep an eye on her because I spoke to Seki, uh, Shane Manning, at training. He said she's 20 years old, a bit green, but she is the quickest girl he's seen in a long time. So let's hope number two for the Bunnies finds a bit of space and gets in the clear sooner. Oh, it's on here. Oh. There, there's a bit of an issue in the scrum. And they've stopped the play. They've stopped the play. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, just a... a player running in. There was a scrum there. Uh, the, the, they got it under control, the officials. Like we're just saying. Did you see what happened there? Did we catch any of it, Brownie? Or? Yeah, it started from the scrum, maybe, and there was a bit of a... A bit of a scuffle there. There wasn't too much in it. Well, the player down. I don't know if the touchies have seen what's happened. Yeah, I think yeah, there was just a bit of a bit of a push and shove over the top of her, and uh, she's got a knock on the head. But it all erupted from the scrum. Uh, we were following the play, and like all things, it just uh, it just a little bit of a scuffle, and everyone will. Get on with the job. Well, the, the officials well, will do a good job. Well, well, they're, well, they're having a chat about it now, Brandy. So I, I suspect there's a canary girl on the ground. He's going to call someone out. Um, so what's and happened here? She's it looks like the Rabbitohs might get the penalty here. Just yeah, he's calling out a Rabbitoh, is he, or no? He is. Yeah, that's uh, that's yeah. number eight, Holly Wheeler. Yeah, that's the NRL, uh, NRLW yeah. star. Yeah, yeah. A, we'll give you the tip sheet on the doggies now, but I'll, and just, I'll just finish the South one, Brownie. So yep. you got number three for South, Patricia Raila Droka. She's the captain. Yep. Oh, he's going, she's going to the sin bin here, oh, Brownie. She's got ten in the bin. Yeah, that's uh, who is that? I can't even. We haven't seen the number. Um, she might be on the tip sheet. I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll, we'll find him. We get, we'll see what happens when she comes down here. Um, yeah, so the bulldog has got the ball now. And there she is there, the girl that's been sent to the sin bin. We'll see if we can get a, the number of a jersey. I think she's got to go up the tunnel, doesn't she? Or no, she'll just sit she should just sit on the sideline. No, she's got oh, to go up. Oh, she's off. got to go up the tunnel. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So is it the centre? I'm not probably, sure. Probably won't get to see her. No, we're not going to see the number, so we'll have to go back to the play. And Charrington. So they're down to 11, uh, down to 12 men, the bunny. So they're going to have to work hard in defence here, have to lift. Let's see how they go. So the Rabbitohs, they lead six points to nil here, but the Bulldogs are on the attack with 26 minutes to go. Charrington, dummy half, passes at the target. Who gets the ball? They've got an overlap out here. They should score. And the Rabbitohs and the Bulldogs will go in, in the corner with Georgia Rafix. Uh, I'd say that, put, that player who just got sent to the sin bin would have been position on this right hand edge because they attacked it down there we looked short yep. and it was great play from the Bulldogs and they go in and score the try and take the score to six points to four with 25 minutes to go and uh, maybe just a, a few a few of the Bulldogs players they've got some quality players uh, in terms of number nine Reuben Cherrington now she scored a double last week uh, she plays in the headgear and she is actually the sister to Kennedy who is the Jillaroo. She plays uh, with the Bulldogs as well, but she's out injured at the moment. Yep. And there's a player that's not playing. She's the captain, uh, Gail Broughton. She's playing with the All-Stars. That's similar to what we've got uh, happening at the moment. We've got a couple of players who are over there playing in the All-Stars game. And she's we've got actually- four. We've got four over there, so yeah, that's well, a lot. Well, yeah. It's blowing dogs off chains here. Yeah. That, that. <laughs> and that Gail Broughton, she's actually an Olympic gold medalist. She's a national sevens player, and she actually plays for the Parramatta NRLW as well. So, yeah. um, a great player to watch in the future, and that's uh, Gail Broughton. So there's also number one, Abby Church. They got her from the Eels. She's quick, elusive, and scored a double last week. Saracen Oliver scored a double last week. There's that goal. That kicks. Oh, it's coming around, but no, it's too short. Into that heavy breeze. 
Um, uh, number 13, Mona Lisa Soliola. She is a local junior. She kicked five from 11 last week. That was her there that just took that attempt. Um, she's Ayasola I, I Soliola is her uncle. She played Tasha Gale and then went to the Sharks and played NRLW for the Dragons. And she's played in the under-19s New South Wales team, so they're pretty stacked for talent. Um, and also look for number 17, Shannon Muru. She's strong, powerful, and also scored a try last week. So, so there, was a, there was a plenty of tries last week. So we've got some live chat happening. And they won 54 to 4, so that's why. And Melissa Tagaloa. And oh, and they've kicked it dead there. The Bulldogs, are, the Bulldogs have let it go dead. And yeah. Sorry, Brownie, carry on. Yeah, Melissa has just live chatted. And she said Molly, number one, and Kayla, number four, have come over from Auckland, New Zealand. Well, there you go. Molly's family watching from New Zealand. Thanks for the stream. Well, thank you for joining in. And uh, like you said... She's going to go short, is she here? The Rabbitohs well, are going to go on the attack short here. Anyway, but it's, there it is. It's a big chance here for the Bunnies. There's 23 minutes left in this first half here at Redfern Oval. It's the Women's Premiership. And the Bunnies are, are up 6-4 thanks to a converted try. And that's a great run there, Brownie. Yes. Look Gilles, at this for Gilles, She's Gilles got Samasi. the offload too. Gilles Samasi offloads to Filippo, who nearly went through. Through the dummy on the right-hand side. Collins in at dummy half. Throws a long ball out to number eight, and that's Longford. She has a Longford crack. charges in. So they've got to get it out to the left-hand edge. It's on out the left-hand side. They go that way. And Duff throws a nice ball to Tagaloa. And that's Molly, one of the girls we are just talking about. The Rabbitohs on the attack. Big carry there, but there's nice strong carry. defense. Great defense there solid. from the Bulldogs. Yeah, solid defense. Collins, a nice long ball. Nice kick there from Filippo. I think the breeze got that. Yeah. It's a tricky spot to be kicking high there. Oh, was and that Filippo? I don't think... Uh, or they take it dead, or is it a, that's a seven-tackle set to the Bulldogs? Yes, it was Filippo who put that kick in, number seven for the Rabbitohs, the young halfback. Yep. So more players to watch for South. We've got, um, so, uh, number 10, Sanetti Kilimas, Kil Kilis, Kilis Amasi. She's a local girl, tough and strong. She plays direct and loves the challenge. Watch out for her. So she just had a big charge there in the middle. That's uh, the number 10. Um, number 11, Josephine Majors, played good last week. So the doggies are on the attack up the blind side here. Taken down now, just over the 50 metre line. Bunnies on the attack. They're down 4 6. No, nah, doggies on the attack. Did I say bunnies? I yes. Said dog. Okay, sorry. You could, <laughs> no, no, you're doing right. My multitask is. <laughs> anything that goes wrong in this fourth live stream, just so you know, we've been going since about quarter past 10 this morning. And oh, there's a penalty in the that's ruck crucial. infringement. On so, the last tackle as well. So number 13 for, for the Rabbitohs, Brownie, Rachel Simpson. She's tough. She's small. She likes to do the messy work and get the dirty work. And I've she noticed works, that. She works hard. Yeah, I've noticed that in, in the first 15 minutes of this game with 20 minutes to go in the first half. And if you've just joined us, the South Sydney Rabbitohs are leading the Bulldogs and she just made over that, six points to four. And she just made that tackle there, a grassing tackle. It was copybook. She can defend well. That was beautiful. Oh, oh great another defense. good hit there. Good tackle. Great fan. Who was that, that was, I think that was Patricia Rakadroka. Yeah, we give her a mention, yeah. She's the captain, Ra the centre. Rakadroka. We need Tomo and Manal Thompson, the Fijian flyer, to, to uh, give us these Fijian names. Yeah, that'll roll off his tongue, that one. Yep, as the Bulldogs are still on the attack here. They've been down this end of the field. And that was Abby Church. Turns the ball inside to Wilson. Wilson going for the line. Oh, she's on the Back ground to Church. There. And Church offloads out to Murphy. And Murphy will go in and score in the corner. Jeez, I the left-hand score. I thought she might have been tackled there, Brownie. Um, the ref didn't see it that way. So, unfortunately, they're in again. The, so, Murphy the scores a second try for the Bulldogs. And that takes them to an eight points to six lead over the South Sydney Rabbitohs with 19 minutes to go. Yeah, so, oh, well, I was like I said, I'm watching it through the viewfinder, but I, I thought she might have been on the ground and passed it off the ground. But obviously the momentum, she still had it. And, yeah, so. And Matthew Garrett asked if we're live streaming the under-21s. Not today, uh, Matty. No, I think are they tomorrow, I think. I, I'm not sure. Someone said they might be at um, uh, Mascot Oval today. 
Maybe okay. at one o'clock. So. Uh, so we're not. No, okay. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was tomorrow, but yeah, obviously not. It's too big an undertaking. We've we're struggling to get through the fourth game, but we're enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. We're, we'll get through it. No worries at all. Uh, Maybe I want the camera here. Brownie. I here might with have me. to uh, open these Daryl Lee rice bubbles. Milk chocolates just to get us through, mate. Yeah, you might have to break it out. Uh, we need a bit of sugar or something, but they are good, Brownie. And that's our product of the month because Daryl Lee makes it better since 1927. And there's something special in every bite. In every now, bite. Well, there certainly is. Let's just see if this kick is special from uh, the number 13 who has played yeah. at uh, Dunabut WNRL level. Soliola, and it goes across the face of the yeah. uh, goal mouth, well, well, and it's unsuccessful. Uh, our, uh, our uncle Isola was a. A, oh, a he, he was a tough player, mate. <laughs> tough as they come. So there she is there. Tough, tough player. And if you're watching this, mate, well done. Your family's, she's doing your family proud here. I'm Great sure he'll be career. watching. He might be. Is he still down in Canberra? Or? Well, speaking of Canberra, Tim Jones is watching from Canberra. So a shout out to you, Tim. There you go. That was a good uh, segue, wasn't it, Brownie? Yeah, so it was. It was, <laughs> it was <laughs> perfect that. time. I didn't even, and I wasn't looking then, so I did just pull yeah. that out of thin air. Yeah, but, so uh, yeah, let's, have a, stuff, let's uh, have a look at our girls over there. So Seggy in the blue shirt, Brownie. Yeah, so if you've just joined us, it's guys. It's Seki, isn't it? Seki, yep. Seki, if you've yep. just joined us, the, this is the Harvey Norman women's game. Yep. And the South Sydney Rabbitohs are playing the Canterbury Bulldogs where they lead eight points to six over the Rabbitohs with 18 minutes to go. They're just having a drinks break. Yep, uh, as you can see, it's quite warm here. It is windy. And there's Sinetti down there, the 10 brownie. She's been solid in the middle. Just putting a bit of ice on the head there. It's a hot day. And the Rabbitohs uh, have got one in the bin as well. So yes. the Bulldogs have got a bit of an overlap. And like you said, Mabo, it's been a long day. It's been a marathon of footy. This is our fourth game today of live streaming. Yep. Um, we've been unlucky in a couple of the games. Uh, we've, we're none from three at the moment. Yeah. But... Look, uh, some of the teams can hold their heads high because uh, the scores really didn't indicate the results of the game. But no. uh, at the end of the day, you don't get two points for that. And yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what's been keeping us going, Brownie? Now, Bunnaby Water. Bunnaby Water. There it is. And a shout out to all our sponsors. We'll give them another mention now. Yeah, Bunnies TV is proudly brought to you by Daryl Lee, George's Cameras, Site Pizza, the Juniors Gripper Clubs, Dot Build Constructions, NG Farrah, Bunnaby Water, and Blast Pit. And hey. a big thank you to all our sponsors. Uh, we wouldn't be able to produce this show, our live streaming, and our weekly shows if it wasn't from the support of our loyal sponsors. And they're all local sponsors too, aren't they? Yeah, Ava? All, all Australian owned companies and local. So yeah, we, we love their support and we love that the, our, our viewers and oh, listeners. Oh, what a good hit. shot there. Number 15, Brownie, that oh, was. Oh, duck it. Yeah, there it is. Oh, duck Latika, it, what a shot. Latika, she's an interesting story. She's one of six girls. Her and mum, Lani, as she's there, played in the uh, for, played for LARPA in the A-grade grand final win last year and also the Curry knockout. Five girls in the pathway system, the Duckets. Yeah. So, yeah, they they come over from the Roosters. And we're, they're the ones we gave the stickers to in the car park. Oh, brownie. yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and, they, and I gave us some more the other day. So, yeah, all Rabbitohs now, the Duckets. Jeez, I and, thought that was a bit unfortunate yeah. uh, for the Rabbitohs there. The penalty goes against them. So, we, you know, can live chat with us. We're trying to, and there's, what's he going to do? He's going to get a caution here now. The, he might have got tipped off by the touchy. So who's this coming in now? It's not the girl that just went in the bin, is it, I hope? Yeah, she's on report. She's on report. For a careless high tackle here on Bunnies TV, live and free across Australia and around the globe. We've had people from Germany. Karina Haas was on earlier. People from New Zealand. Uh, we had someone, people from, from America, Thailand. And you've you just hit the nail on the head again, Mavo. Peter William Jamison, Go South, cheering for you girls all the way from New York. Oh, start spreading the news. So, I'm leaving today. Yep. Great. Have you been to New York? No, what a I'd great to, city. I'd love to go, mate. I, I spent to go. two Christmases there uh, with the family. Oh, well, it was uh, all a white Christmas. White Christmas, oh, yeah. Okay. And, geez, what a place at Christmas time. They get right into the spirit. Yep. Uh, the Americans over there in New York. I uh, went to Madison Square Gardens. I went and watched the NFL. 
Uh, white Christmas, like you said, Mavo. It's just an unbelievable city at Christmas time. Yeah, I'd love to go. I've been to, I've obviously been to LA and and San Francisco. I love that, but I'd like to go to New York and maybe Miami. There's a few places on the bucket list I might get to, but. And as the Bulldogs go on the attack here, oh, they dropped and it there. So come up with an error. Great defence there from the Rabbitohs, who yep. they pick it up and play on. They got the ball. There's 16 minutes left in this first half. They got a big breeze behind, and let's hope they can take advantage, Brownie. And that was Tia Cook who got sent to the Simbin. She's just returned to the field now, number 12. Oh, there you go. Okay, so so Tia Cook. We couldn't find out the number just before, but we have now, and she's just back on the field, and it's back to 13 on 13 here at Redfern Oval where the wind is blowing and the sun is shining as the Rabbitohs work it out oh, off their line. And Lakeisha great there. offload. Beautiful, Lakeisha Duckett. She's hard to handle, Duckett. Is it Lakeisha? Am I getting that right? No, no Tamequa, sorry. Tamequa. Tamequa. Sorry, appreciate it. And there's Rachel Simpson. We've got a tip off about Rachel. She loves the hard stuff and uh, she's proven that right there as we go down the left-hand edge. Out onto the 11, and that's Margis. Margis takes it into the Canterbury line on the last tackle, and they'll be looking for the kicker to put it downfield. That's a nice kick, too. Yeah, using that breeze, Brownie, that's what we needed to see. And that was Tagaloa. I'm sure it was Tagaloa, the fullback, who put that kick in. Yep, and that was. Oh, now she's run back. The chase wasn't that and great. And she chases a kick and makes the tackle as well. Yeah, so that's a completed set, Brownie, and that's what they need to do to get back in this game. They've got to hold the ball, kick long, and hope they come up with a mistake down the other end, the doggies. And they've marched out to the 40 on the second tackle, and here they go again. They're on the charge again, the Bulldogs. And that's Lendl, the centre, number three, Lendl. Gee, that's a good run. She's Shanae taking, it, taking it all the way down to the 30, put aside on the attack. Bit of support here for the dogs. We can hear him in the crowd. That's great defence there from Tasman Barber. She came off a wing and made the tackle, and she had to. Last well, tackle now. They're well, on the last tackle for the Last tackle 10-metre line. And it goes out to Wilson, who puts in a crossfield kick. Goes up in the air. The wind's holding it up, and it bounces right for the Bulldogs. And it goes out to the right-hand edge. Oh, offload Offload. They've got to put them to ground, girls. Satia. And yeah, well done. Did, Great did. defense well, well there from there. the Rabbitohs. Yes, the Bunnies. Here we go. So 14 minutes left for NG Farrah and Dot Build Constructions. I had a look earlier, Mavo, uh, the NG Farrah group. They had over 27 auctions today all around uh, Sydney, oh, yep. the eastern suburbs where they predominantly sell their real estate. Uh, they also sold property in the Canterbury area, so to speak, at Bardwell Valley. Yep. Uh, down there with a nice little golf course. But yeah, NG Farrah Real Estate, a family owned business since 1962. They're independently owned, they're not a franchise, and they are the market leaders. And we're, giving, we're giving away free. A uh, free marketing campaign? A free marketing campaign worth at least $5,000 from NG Farrah. So give Glenn a call or Stephanie or yep. Jacqueline at NG Farrah, and you could get. $5,000 off selling your home with thanks to Bunnies TV and Andrew Farrell. And having been in real estate, marketing is a, is a big part of, of selling your home. Look at this it kick. is a great kick. Beautiful. That's using the breeze to your advantage. Now we've got to chase it down there and make the, make the tackle, which they've done. And so that's what you want to do. You want to complete your set when you're down by two with 13 left in the first half and pin them down there now. And a golden rule. In uh, rugby league, Mavo, when you're kicking, is find the grass, and yes. that's what we've been doing. We're finding the grass and making the Bulldogs play at the ball rather than catching it on the full. Yeah, that's right. So they've they've got a few meters there though on the first couple of hit ups, first couple of tackles. So and great defence there on target, the halfback there for the Bulldogs. That was great defence from the Rabbitohs. I love watching the women's game, and that's Holly Wheeler. She looks a class player as well. She's yeah. an NRLW player who's playing for the Bulldogs at the moment. Yep, and they're going to have a... Oh, a, look at Rachel Simpson getting involved in the hard stuff. She loves that tough stuff. They're going to have a WNRL, an NRLW team next year, the Doggies, so some of these girls will make that transition. That's, oh, six, that's again. Oh, six again. Six again. Gee, that's unlucky, Brownie. So danger here now. They're going to have to... 
hold them out. They've got the player back now, so they're back, it's back to 13 on 13. But oh, great charge there from number 21, and that was Katrina Fippen. She put, a, she put a team on the front foot, and a great pass there. A no-look pass there from Anika Wilson. Yeah. And Saracen Oliver goes over for the try in the left-hand corner. Yep. What a great pass. Geez, some of those passes that these girls throw, that's at NRL standard. Yeah, yeah and that's, uh, that's our man Johnny's hat, the Johnny the timekeeper, I think. <laughs> there he is there. Been around for a long, long time, doing a great job. And he'll be blowing that hooter in 11 minutes 20 for the halftime siren. The doggies are up 12-6, so they're up a converted try with a kick to come. And number 13, Brownie, that's um, Mona Lisa Soliola, the niece of Ayasola Soliola, NRL, we'll just say legend, I think I would. He's, he's, he's been around a long time. Oh, well, he has, yeah. I'm not sure if he had a lot of success. Oh, hang on. No, but, that... So she's not kicking. She must be off for a break. So Ruben Cherrington, who is the sister of oh, an NRLW Kennedy. player. Kennedy. Yeah, Kennedy. So there you go. We're not sure if they're related to Anthony, the NRL player, yeah. but perhaps... One of our listeners can tell us that. And um, Kennedy is actually a Jillaroo as well. So she's out injured today. She's not playing today. Timmy Jones is watching from Canberra. Thanks for joining us, mate. Are you streaming the 21s? No. So, yeah, thanks for everyone who's jumped on for this chat. We really appreciate your support. Um, we've got, we haven't got quite as many as the last couple, but we can understand that because it's been a long day. It is a Saturday Arvo, but, you know, we've, I'm sure we've got some family members watching who appreciate the coverage. Probably Grant Chapel. He's gonna he's gonna try and catch the second half. She's As Charrington moves in, that away. yeah, goes across the face of the uprights there, and the score stays the same. Where the Canterbury Bulldogs lead the South Sydney Rabbitohs, 12 points to six, with 10 minutes to go, down here at sunny Redfern Oval. So, what did you think of the uh, the first grade last night? I know you had to watch the replay, Brownie. Blake Taff. He's been a he's been a like this preseason, everyone's talking about how good he's going, and geez, he exploded onto the field last night. Well, he had some nice touches, didn't he? Uh, all this, I thought all the senior players laid a nice little platform for the younger uh, squad members. A lot of the senior players uh, weren't uh, available to play. Well, they were, I mean, they were available, but they weren't required to play. Yep. Uh, like a lot of teams this week, they're playing. A lot of the uh, fringe players giving them an opportunity oh. as uh, the ball goes back yes. to number two, the try scorer there. Oh. And a great, yeah, but uh, yeah, Blake Taffy, he, he was outstanding. Yeah, we're Team Taffy here on Bunnies TV. We know the family, so we are a bit biased, but we don't care if we are because he's a kid from, you know, his family's from Larpa. My missus grew up with uh, his dad and his uncle. So, and there you go, here comes the doggies. And they've offloaded here, so they've they've turned it over, I think. No, it's gone forward. Uh, the pass went forward, but I, I didn't think it did. But, but, I've sent, but there was I, a you, knock on there anyway. Before I finish, I sent Blakey a message last night from Bunnies TV and, and told him he went good, and he thanked us. He thanked us for thanking him. So that's a, he's a real humble kid, young Taffy. And uh, look, if he can bring that off the bench for these Rabbitohs in the 2023 season, the injection of pace, the skill, the, the you know, he's beaten... Beating tackles, he's kicking goals. Well, we won't need him kicking goals because we've got Trell Mitt doing that. But you know, during during Origin and whenever he needs to fill in, he he's uh, going to have a big year this year, and he could lead us all the way to the big show. Let's hope, anyway. Yeah, and Rob Trelaw, channel member, he said, yeah, Taffy number fourteen. So yeah, he's going to good hit. ball. Here we go, Brownie. Oh, she's just held it there, probably. Could have given it on there, but that was nice ball work there. Now yeah, the girls that was are from Tia Cook. with eight minutes to go there. Here we're on the charge on the halfway line. They got their confidence going. They got the breeze behind them, and uh, this bulldog side might be just tiring towards the end of the first and half. Tia Brownie. Cook was uh, at it again with her opposite number. Uh, she was a bit fiery. Yeah, she's fired up. Tia Cook. She's got to just look, maybe settle down a little bit. Yeah, uh, play some next footy. Time. Uh, she mightn't be getting bin in the bin. Um, you mightn't be returning after. It's like in our day, Brownie. You know, towards the end of the first half, then you didn't have any change. You, the teams that get tired, the game would open up, and that's when you could uh, exploit the opposition. Uh, yeah, definitely. And the Bunnies are on the attack here. They're, they're getting beat at the moment, 12 points to six with seven minutes to go. They're playing some nice attacking footy as they spin it out to the right-hand side. And that was the last tackle, and they're caught on the last. Uh, we've got to get to the kick there. That The coach uh, 
Shane Sultana wouldn't be happy with that. You've, but just got, to, you've got to get to the kick and try and uh, build pressure in uh, with some repeat sets or whatever. But yeah, you don't well, just hand it over there. That's not uh, not what the doctor ordered or just Coach going Sultana back ordered. To last night's game, Mavo, uh, a couple of young players who we were quite impressed with. And obviously everyone's talking about young Dion Tapao, who played number six last night. He Offload. had some yep. nice touches. Yep. Uh, Neon, Neon Dion, we're calling him. Neon Dion, he scored two tries himself. He had a try assist and he looked very classy. And uh, Didn't he was? He's got a big future ahead of him. Put on a try assist and it was just a beautiful touch for a kid that's coming to first grade. And puts, the, puts it on the toe like that to set up a try. Then he kicks for himself, regathers and scores, showing a lot of skill. It really was an impressive performance from him. Yep. And, um, yeah, so... And another young kid I was impressed with, Talis Duncan. Uh, he played, a, played a, a bit of footy. He's had an opportunity last year in the trial. And, and don't be surprised if he gets a debut this year. I was really impressed with what he did last night. Yep. He played a lot of big minutes. He's always on the ball. A little bit like Cameron Murray, the way he plays. He he ball plays, he plays through the middle, yep, and hit he's ups. Not, and he's not not scared, uh, scared to mix it up and put on the shots. And he's, he's got a bit of fire about him, Brownie. And that's what you need in that position, I think. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, he's a player to watch. And the bloke he's named after had a bit of fire as well, too. So that's why. Yeah. There's no doubt. And he even said it to him when he met him last night on the coverage after the game. He said... Oh, look out. They've turned it over there. That's that's not what we needed. Number 12 there. She's been in the sin bin. Um, and now that was number 12 for South. Tia Cook. Tia Cook. And, yeah, so just back to Talis. Yeah, he's, his father was a fan of Ta uh, Gordon Talis, and he named him after him, and he's taught him to play with that sort of firebrand football, and that's what we love about him because he's, he's not shy to get in there and do the tough stuff and... That might see him get a debut this year, Brownie. No, I've got no doubt at all. And and just before we finish on that, it was funny when Gordon Tallis said, well, he's a lot better looking than this Tallis. I know that he is. He's a good looking kid, let me tell you. Yeah. So. Well, his brother's a model. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, Tallis' brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not surprised. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And he's a big unit too. He's filled out. Yeah. And and that's what you need if you're going to progress to the big show. Oh, oh and, and the Bulldogs make a break through their number one. And that is Abby Church who puts them right on the attack yep. again. The Bulldogs with four minutes to go. They're attacking the Rabbitohs line. Yep. Player to watch. She was nominated as a player to watch Abby Church. He's been good. Cherrington takes it on to Wheeler. Yep. A nice tackle around the legs there. Cherrington, long ball. Out to Fippen. And there's, there's the number one again, Abby Church. And Zim, oh, she's oh, dropped she it. Dro she didn't have to pass that brownie. She no. just got a little bit cute there. And, uh, gee, you, you wouldn't have ever seen me do that. Pass the ball with the line wide open. You just get down low and you score that try. Protect the ball. Get down low and go, go, go. Just like there's a fire, brownie. Yeah. And uh, she didn't do that there. And it's cost her team a try. To she's put them up. Abby Church, she's everywhere. Yeah, she is. She just had a hand in that try or a attempted try on, on the left-hand edge. But... Two tackles before she was on the right hand side. She's everywhere. She's playing with energy. She's pointing the, the, the players to go in defence. And she's a, definitely a player to watch, Abby Church. Yes, she is. So now, see us. They're only down a converted try. They've got this breeze. There's three minutes 20 before half time. We really want to get down this other end of the field and try and put some points on. Good offload there from uh, Duckett. This is nice work here down the right. Oh, there's a forward pass there. The touchy was. Standing in, he hasn't moved, and I could see it. It was right in line with the Bunnies TV camera there, so you can't argue with that. That was well, the the, the Super Bowl's on on Monday, Brownie, and that was a <laughs> that was a, to the wide receiver. Um, that, was a, that was a Patrick Mahomes pass. Patrick Mahomes, a little shovel pass to uh, so you know J uh, Travis Kelsey down the the right hand side. So unfortunately now. This doggies team is going to get another chance to put points on with two minutes 38 left in the first half here at Redfern Oval. Our, our fourth stream. Thank you to everyone chatting. Phil Brummer's jumped on. Um, I can't really. I've got Br Brownie might be able to read that. He's a channel member. Phil, thanks for your support, mate. Yeah, Phil said uh, Dunn's performance was first grade. I think he might mean Dion. Dion. Yep, uh, was first grade standard. 
And Tallis Duncan's interview with Gordon Tallis was awesome. Yeah, it certainly was, mate. Good shot there. That was Duckett. I think she's come on and made an impact in this game. That and it's hurt, Wheeler. Yeah, there you go. It's she hurt has. the Bulldogs front rower. Yeah, wow. Yeah, one of six girls. I told you that. we met, I met her mum and was talking to her. She was telling me about the family. There's five Duckett girls in this pathway system. And she's put on a good shot there. Oh, and that's another, another good great tackle. tackle. That's the lock. Oh, geez, that was unfortunate. She got it for a flop. Oh, that sorry. was unfortunate. Number 20, Nicole Backhouse. She's come up with a couple of perler of the tackles. Uh, that's what you want. You want yeah, someone to come on and do some work. And there's there. another one. Gee. Nicole Backhouse, she just throws herself at the opposition. Uh, I know one thing. She needs an elastic, and there she is. I just spoke about her. Abby Church slices us up. Uh, the Rabbitohs defence out wide. Well, the Rabbitohs didn't get to the church on time there, Brownie. It was, yeah, uh, and it on was... the tip sheet, she's from the Eels. She's, they've got her from the Parramatta Eels. She's quick, elusive, and scored a double last week, and I can understand why after just watching that. And not only that, but in, her involvement throughout the first half has been astronomical, yeah. and that takes the Canterbury Bulldogs out to a 16 points to six lead with only 45 seconds to go. Yeah, so, well look, they perform well, our girls. They they held this star-studded side and they've just let in a try there, but they, they've they got to clean up that uh, right side defence, Brownie, because that's where they've scored all their points down that edge there. They've been, we've been watching them kick the goals from here, so that's what Coach Shane Sultana will, will say to him. I'll just come down and have a look at him here. He's gone behind the beyond the tent, but I just saw him walk up there. The, the Boundless tent, that's their new water, Brownie. Boundless, I don't think it's as good as Bunnaby water. Nah, water yeah. with a purpose. No, nah, our, our water's better. No, nah, well, this is a local This is a local water, right, um, that supports the Gajaga Foundation. See it there, right? So the Gajaga Foundation on the back here, it says there's a, there's a little spiel about them. A little story. But I'll just tell you, they support Aboriginal languages. So they teach Aboriginal kids how to, how to speak Aboriginal language and culture. <laughs> So it's water with a purpose. So if your office, cafe, fact, uh, whatever business is supporting a, you know, a multinational water that is a, maybe a couple of cents cheaper, have a look at Bunnaby Water. Go to their website, bunnabywater.com.au. As the halftime hooter goes here at Redfern Oval in the Harvey Norman women's game in the Bulldogs lead, the Rabbitohs 16 points to six. How about we get, want to get Dallas? Dallas, you want to come on for a chat, mate? Okay, we will. We'll get him. We'll get him on because he's been helping us out. You, you, are you going to do something? Yeah, get us something. Whatever you do. Oh, I'll have a uh, Daryl Lee. Okay, so, um, <coughs> all right. Uh, okay, Dallas, come round a bit into that. In that light, it's a bit better. Okay, so, yep. geez, we'll start off with the jersey, mate. DeLonghi, Rabbit. That's a what? What year is that one from? Do you know? Ah, uh, two thousand and eight. I'm pretty sure. So. Okay, so. Obviously, we'll, we'll start with our interview, how we do it. You've probably heard it. Where are you from and what was it like growing up there? Uh, so I grew up in Milpera. Uh, always been a, a bunny from, from young, uh, back in the borough, back, back in the day when I was a little bit younger. Oh, right. Um, Why was that, mate? I just uh, met people, fell in love with the, the Rabbitohs and uh, the love of rugby league, love rugby league, love all, all sports as well. So why not the doggies being from Milpera? No, nev never liked them. was always a rabbit. My mum was a rabbit. Uh, my uh, best mate's uncle, who was a rabbit. And okay, so mum's influence probably was something I had a, a, as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, been a rabbit for a uh, well, yeah, long time. Okay, so, and just tell us about your, you're a home brewer. I'm sure there's a lot of people watching this that love a home brewer. I know I do. And I've seen Chaps, Chaps gets his home, buys his home brew off you. That's how we know you, I think. Yep, and, that's great. And I've seen him put up a few of the pale owls. I do love a pale owl and a and a home brew. So tell us a little bit about what you do and who they're called. Oh uh, yeah, it's the Hop and Grain Brew Store in Marrickville. Uh, yeah, Chaps, Chaps loves a brew, loves a beer, uh, when he's got time. Yep. Uh, yeah, so you just uh, you make your own. These days the cost of beer is definitely cheaper to make yourself. Um, and nothing better to have your mates around and say, I made this uh, brew. How'd that all come about? Are you a master brewer yourself or anything nah, like that? No, my, it's my partner's business. So, and, my, and one of my mates, so that's where I met my partner. Yeah. So yeah, through that. So do you do like some brewing yourself or are you just involved in the business? No, I, I used to, but it's just not enough time these days. Yeah. So, well, I always talk about 
the explosion of the the a craft beer in Australia and, and I like it and, and I know a lot of Aussies there are oh, I'd rather drink Carlton or all this but I just love trying all the different flavoured beers and you know, the different pale ales yeah. and I went on a brewery tour when I was down in uh, Hobart a few uh, a couple of years back and I was so interested in all the different hops and and, and you know I just think a master brewer has gone to all this trouble to create this lager or this pale ale so whenever I go to a, a venue and I'm going to have a beer I'll look for you know, some some sort of craft beer that I can try, and I always enjoy doing that. Yeah, there's plenty, there's plenty out there. There's uh, plenty, plenty of good beers out in the market. My favourite one uh, of all is Grifter, of, yep. all, of all the brooches in Marrickville. That's yeah. my, my favourite beer on, that, that's out there. But um, you can definitely make your own just as good if you if you follow the recipes and follow the steps. And the main thing is keeping it clean, everything keeping everything clean. You can definitely go up for uh, a good beer. Well, I think from what I've learned at doing a few brewery tours and that is that the pale ale is why it's so common is because it's a shorter period to brew. Is that is that how it works? And then the lagers take a bit longer. Yes, uh, a lot of it's weather dependent, but yeah, definitely the uh, pales come up a little bit quicker than the lagers. Um, in this sort of weather and this heat, it's definitely hard to brew a. Uh, you wouldn't be brewing a lager in this weather, that's for sure. You've got to have the you know the right gear to do a lager. And the pales are definitely the most easier ones to do, and uh, you know the most flavour as well. So I was talking to you about it before because we, uh, I went to the Grifter and tried some of his beers and um, there's also Willie the Boatman who, uh, not far from there, and then you're in the area and then you've got Young Henry. So I think that that's quite a common uh, like little pub crawl. You can go to all the different uh, breweries right through there. Yeah, definitely. Uh, there's, there's definitely plenty to get lost around there uh, in, in uh, you know, St. Peter's, Sydney, Marrickville area. There's plenty of breweries there. They're all good. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and you've... you've You've gotten to know Chaps because he comes into the store. I think he's been to the footy or something together. Yeah, yeah, the Chaps and uh, went to the races with uh, Brownie, uh, South Race Day a couple of years ago. Oh, yeah. Um, which was good. Uh, yeah, Chaps is a good bloke, a good loyal customer and loves his beer. So did you watch the trial last night? Ah, uh, Yes, I did. I was quite impressed with a few of the younger blokes. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we, we sort of took the, the foot off the pedal there and we were in, in front early on, uh, you know. Good signs. Next week will be very interesting. I'll be up there in my gym myself. Uh, have a clean, clean look, and it'll be good because we'll have the New South Wales Cup and we'll have the, uh, you know, team as well. So it'll be good to see uh, today as well. The game should be starting soon. Uh, yeah. A couple of our boys playing in that one today as well. Yeah, that's going to be good. So we're going to go home and watch this. Obviously, we'll probably get a site pizza on the way home and and go home and watch that. And. So um, you said you got a bit of a connection out that way, out the Mudgee way, because I always rave about Mudgee. If you're not, if it's probably a bit late now to book accommodation if you haven't already, but it's beautiful. And I was talking to Graham Lyons about it because I talked to him about his uh, niece Chanel who played in Natasha Gale. It's just a beautiful little town, all the old buildings, and then our Players Association have set it up so well for us. We go there on the Friday to the Oriental Pub. We stay across the road in the motel. We have a reunion where they give us food and drink. And then on the Saturday, we go and watch the Charity Shield. We go back to the Oriental Pub. We have food to drink. Beautiful restaurants all through town. And then on Sunday we go to Mudgee Races. So can't speak highly enough of Mudgee, but you're sorry. Do, yeah, <laughs> it was a long-winded question. No. But yeah, yeah. Uh, my mother's in Rylstone, uh, which is just a town just, just just outside of Mudgee. So I skipped to stay there, which is good. Kill two birds with the one stone. Um, but yeah, I do the same thing. I go to the footy, the races, uh, the brewery there, Mudgee Brewery as well. Check that out. Yeah. Really good. It's just uh, just across the bridge before you uh, head across. Yeah. So anyone that's heading up there, uh, grab a beer from there. Their beer's really good. Yeah. It's across the road from a pub, isn't it? We went to the pub. Yes, there is a pub across that, the road. Yeah, two-story we met the, we met the, pub. Yeah, we met the public in there. He does a lot of the old meats, and that's another reason it's good. He's, he's actually on the... Um, on the race club board, and so we, we met him a bit there. And yep. the other thing that I really that I didn't mention is that it, you, we, me and Brownie, the first time we went, we got a cab to this winery just out of town. It was, we were there in five minutes. We're sitting there drinking these lovely reds and you know having some nice cheese platter and all that. So it's just a sensational little place. I mean, I, I think Mudgy Tourism should be employing me as one of their <laughs> as one of their spokespeople because uh, I do love the place. I've, I've got to try and get me missus up there. She didn't go the first couple of times, and I think she'll fall in love with the place as well. And it's you know it's a about a four-hour drive. It's not close, but it's worth it if you can for a weekend getaway. You could spend a week or two there, not a problem at all. Yeah, uh, Bunnamagoo Wines is where I like to go. Bunnamagoo Mudgee. Oh yeah, uh, Bunnamagoo uh, just outside of Mudgee. It's about ten minutes just on the other side. That's a winery I like to visit. Yeah, um, great cracking wines there. Uh, that's one of the ones I do like to stop into. While I'm there as well. Yeah, and we had breakfast with Julie Burgess and, and Tommy Burgess last time we were there, and she stayed at this bed and breakfast and she couldn't stop raving about it. It's a really old building and the hosts there look after them like family and, you know, so you, you, you're going to find that it's a great place to go for holiday. But, yeah, so that's going to be a big game. That's the start of our, you know, unofficial start of our season, the Charity Shield. I've played in the Charity Shield 
myself, Brownie's played in it. It's usually a fiery encounter. Not as much these days because it's a bit different, but that's going to be a good game. So you've got your, have you got your tickets to the game? You're going yeah, to be tickets there? to the game, tickets to races. Yep, 100% oh, yeah. will be oh, there. Yeah. I've been going there for the last few years. It's a great venue. Um, yeah, I wouldn't, it'd be lovely if Seattle to go back to take a game there during the season. Yeah, uh, would, yeah. Would be, you know, it would be something to look at if they could as a club to go there. Yeah, yeah. So they, um, the, 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 the race is good. I mean, you'll, you'll probably see some of the former players. A lot of the same guys always go. Ziggy Niskot, George Longbottom, Tugger, uh, depends, you know, Paulie Robinson, all that. So we've had some, you know, a lot of the same. But we're getting some new ones. Like I said, Graham Lyons is going and, and then you might run into a lot of the players too. So uh, on the Friday night, a lot of the officials like Jason Demetrio and that go to the Oriental Pub and, and on the, at the Sunday race day, the players went the first year, they didn't go the next year, so I'm not sure how they're placed to do that. But um, yeah, you, can, you always see someone you know or you meet some new people down there, down at Mudgee. So, um, all right, mate, what else do you like doing besides... Uh, besides uh, I love me golf. I do, yeah. Yeah, I love playing a bit of golf. Yeah, right. Um, so I grew up playing golf at Bankstown Golf Club. Right. Uh, it's a good course. Yeah, good course. I uh, play a little bit at, these days now, either at uh, Brighton Lakes or even at East Lakes. Yeah, Brighton Lakes is good. East Lakes is good. So, yeah, so don't, don't mind me golf. Are you a member somewhere? or Not at the moment. No, I'm going to join up at Brighton Lakes. So. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's a good course. And you wouldn't believe it. I was talking to Paul Mellor about it, and he said he's a member at East Lake. He plays all the time, loves it, and he follows my golf blog, Mavaz Golf Blog. So I've got a co- Yeah, you're yeah, out at the coast there, I yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. So have you, you, did you follow my blog as well? I've seen some stuff there, yes. Yeah, yeah. I used to, well, you better join because you can find me on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. I'm all over the place, Twitter. And that's how I started doing this before, like shooting camera and and shooting video in slow-mo. So I had a bit of a grounding before I started doing this show, and that's helped me. But, um, yeah, it's a bit of a juggle now to do that and this. I haven't been playing much golf with a bad knee. But, um, mate, you, we'll let you go. You've done well. You've filled yeah, no in worries. some time for us there. And, yeah. uh, so anyone that, anyone's into the home brew or anything, they can come into the store and yeah, mention, what, mention the show, and I'm sure we'll uh, get you a little discount and sort you out. Mention Bunnies TV. So what's it called again? Give it another the Hop, Hop and Grain Brew Store, which is in Marrickville. Uh, 50 Sydney Street. Oh, beautiful. So we, we are proudly supported by the juniors group of clubs, but they are a CUB venue. So yes. I don't think you're in any, they're in any danger. No, from no, your we're, not, we're not in danger <laughs> with uh, taking anyone on at all unless someone's going to uh, start their own and make their own, which is, which is you never know what can happen these days. Yeah, with, uh, yeah. That stuff. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Dallas. Good on you, mate. No, and no Dallas has been helping us. He's had his phone out standing here just off the top of his head, helping us out as an assistant because we didn't have chaps today, showing us a few names on the tip sheet and all that. So, mate, we appreciate your help. No, well, no you worries. might be... Uh, we, we might get you as a regular, uh, as, a, as a helper, and, um, and and thanks for your time. No, no worries. Thanks a lot. Good on you, mate. All right, I'll spin back around here. There again. Look at the timing of that. Couldn't have been any better. Well done, mate. Just chuck it back down. He'll get it. Yeah, so, um, all right. So, they're coming back on the field now. The girls for the second half. It's 16 to 6. The Canterbury Bulldogs, me and Brownie both played for the... Bulldogs and the and the Rabbitohs at first grade level. Uh, we were at the Doggies in 91. We had Barry Ward on earlier on. I'm just eating a couple of chocolate balls to get the energy up. By our um, great sponsor, Daryl Lee. Yep, yep. So Scotty Singles is on the chap. Oh, Chaps' like. his cousin, he's one of the greats. He said, yes, Mavo. And Bopper Macca said, Mudgy is great. So I just did a good ad for Mudgy, Brown. It's a good joint, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, it's a great weekend, Mudgy. Is, not only is it a great weekend, it's a great town, Mudgy. Uh, got some great wineries down there. Uh, you, you obviously go to the Charity Shield on, on the Saturday. Yep. You've got the race meeting on the Sunday. And I'm, I'm really disappointed that I won't be able to make it there this year and next week it is. Yeah. Uh, because I've been there for the last three years in a row and I've had a great time uh, every yeah. time I went down there. And well, uh, We might get Dallas to give us a report. He's going to be down there and he's going to be doing what we would have been doing, going to the races, going yep. to the game. Yep. So, yeah, if you get there on the Friday, mate, or the Saturday, go to the Oriental Pub and uh, see a couple of the, our former players. It's called the Spa Committee, so it's South Players Association. We also were called the Raging Rabbits. And we thank Steve McDermott, Sean Garlic, and all those for helping us out because it's great for our mental health for former players to get involved with uh, our mates. And speaking of former players, Mavo, just at the halftime break, I was talking to Wayne Snoopy Collins. Oh, right. Uh, oh. You, you remember Wayne Snoopy Collins, Gee. who was an assistant coach here uh, many a few years ago and a successful NRL player himself. And his daughter is actually number nine for the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Oh, and really? that's Janae Collins. And she's oh, having there you go. a oh, great game. Oh, gee, she could have caught that, the, the winger there. Unfortunately, she put it down, but it went straight to her hands and it, just a, the wind probably got it. Now, let's see if these Bulldogs are going to capitalise on this wind. 
because it is a, a, a bit of a gale force wind behind them, as you can probably hear in our headsets. But uh, oh, there you go, Brian. Is that who you were just talking to about at the back there? Yeah, that's what I was talking to Snoopy so Collins. What is, who is he again? What's he? Wayne Snoopy Collins. He used to play hooker for the Canberra Raiders. Yeah, right. in the, the great days when they had Ricky Stewart. Wow. Mal Meninga. I probably played against him. He was the understudy to, well, you would have. He was the understudy to Steve Walters. Right. Uh, I thought played. he looked right familiar. Yeah. <laughs> so, how, and how did you know, how do you know him? Oh, I've known him for many years. Snoopy is a good man. Uh, okay. Through Steve Stone, who went down there and played at the Raiders. Right. Steve and Rick. Steve well, Rick and I don't Rick. think Rick did, did he? But. No, Rick, uh, no, he, it, he went on to coaching once he retired. But yeah, So he's in the Rabideau family now, Snoopy. Well, he he was an assistant coach here for a few years as oh, well. Oh, OK. Uh, when right. Madge was here. Well, we might have an injured player there. She's copped a knock there on the ground. So when the 2014 grand final, Snoopy was on the coaching staff. Oh, was he? So he's had a lot of success at the Rabbitohs, and he loves this club. I was just talking to him uh, behind the scenes, and his daughter, number nine here, keep an eye on her, and that's Janae Collins. And we love this club too because we're proud members of the South Sydney Rabbitohs Football Club and we get looked after by them. They give us accreditation. We get to go to the press conferences and interview the players. We're here at training. We go live for the captain's run. So we've got great access to the players. And that's why we are Bunnies TV because me and you are both Bunnies and we've got Chaps as our founder and he said he might try and catch some of this. He's away. Um, Jeez, we miss him today. We've missed your we chaps. We've missed your chaps. Yeah, yeah. We've, he's we've a, struggled through. It's uh, He's the number one caller. We're just co-callers. Yeah, it's like a, we're, we're, we had a, a cylinder missing. We're, you know, I'm working on, not, I'm not going to say three cylinders or five cylinders, but we're on two cylinders, just me and you. But anyway, I think we've done okay, Brownie. Like it's, uh, We've done the best in the situation, and yeah. I think the people that have watched our streams are happy that we're showing it because you wouldn't have been able to see this, any of this, if you weren't here at the game. And that's a knock-on, I think, is it? Yeah, it's a knock-on there. Great defence there from the Bulldogs. Yeah. And just going back to Janae Collins, she's a hooker like her old man was. Oh, he was right, a crafty little hooker. Like I just said, he was an yep. understudy to Steve Walters. Yep. And she's a great little hooker. Just gives great service out of dummy half from what yep. I've seen today. We haven't seen much of her, but now we know who she is. See you later. We'll be able to concentrate on her a little bit more. As Dallas just said, says his goodbyes there, and we've got some people sticking with us on the live stream. Thanks for sticking with us. Some people have probably waited all day for this, and um, yeah, so it's to, been so a marathon day of rugby league. It has, Brownie. It has indeed. Um, As the wind still blows here, the yeah. sun's out, but the wind. Yeah, sun's out, guns out. It's been a learning curve for us, you know, but we, we think we've done okay. Everything's on power. Our George's camera here, proud supporters of Bunnies TV, is doing its job. And Bopper Maka said, Mudgy is great in the live chat. Well, I agree with you, Bopper. It's a, it's a great weekend down there. And it's on this weekend down there at Mudgy. It's next only weekend, a couple yeah. of hours' drive. Oh, next weekend, sorry, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, the, it's going to be a, a... We haven't even spoken about it, Brownie, but we've got Cody and Luttrell, uh, Shaq. Uh, I didn't even get a chance to answer your Shaq question before. And Shaq Mitchell, he was really open about... Um, he was going to uh, attempt to take his life. And it was a really uh, emotional speech that he made about that. He's been through the, he's been to hell and back, and I think he's come out on the other side as a, as an improved human being. And look out, the way he's looking, the how fit he's looking. Him and his brother, you're reuniting in the first grade team, and look for him to have a big game tonight. As as uh, as Ia Tassu got called in, the Tari Ferrari trial mitt, he goes all right, and so does a bloke called Cody Walker who. Who knows his way around a footy field, to say the least. And Cody, uh, just on Cody, he's on debut as an assistant coach there you go. as well. Well, I think he's got coach written all over him, Cody. You know, um, he, he has got a cranky side, I suppose you could say. But I don't think he's, as a coach, you know, he might not have, have as much to worry about because he's he doesn't have to stay out there. But there, yeah, they've just gone under the post there, have they? And, and that's oh, great no, defence there from the Rabbitohs. Uh, from the girl we are just talking about... Janae Collins, she made a tackle uh, before that and then she got back on side and the attack ran straight at her but she came up trumps and put her body on the line and come up with a try saving tackle. And, and if you're watching this Cody, I was only Gene up then, <laughs> you, you would make a good coach man, I really believe that. You've got a great football brain and he always gives us his time on Bunnies TV, Brownie doesn't he, he's good, good with us and yeah, chaps. Yeah, he's I a think, great man yeah. Cody. And he follows us on our, on our channels and that so yeah, we didn't. He's, uh, his young blokes are both rugby league players in the in the district, so 
He's a rabbit -o now, Cody. I don't think he's going anywhere anytime soon, and he might end up being on the coaching staff once he decides to hang him up. Well, by the looks of it, and he's going down that road already. He wants to learn the experience and what it's like to be on the other side. But yeah. in, saying, in saying that, he, he's still playing tonight as well. Yeah, he is. So, I mean, they've got a good side, the Indigenous. But so, look, the Mount, we said it on um, the, our show the other day. The, the Maori are going to be fired up. Like, those, that Maori hucker at the start and then the Indigenous war cry... It's going to be spine tingling. It's going to be a great game tonight. And no matter who the favourite is, these sides are going to be fired up to play for their culture. And I'm really looking forward to tonight's game, Brandy. It's going to be a cracker. Well, after this game over, I think I might go to bed. <laughs> You're going to have, you need a nap. We can record it. Well, I was thinking, I was thinking of getting a side pizza on the way home at, uh, near the Patriot Hotel. Yeah, well, that's that'll be handy. Uh, yeah. Great sponsor of... Bunnies TV, Side Pizza, yeah. do yourself a favour. If you live in the area of Little Bay or Maroubra, make sure you pop in, especially between Tuesday and Thursday. Mention Bunnies TV and you'll get 10% off your order. Yep. And also... That's dine-in, yeah. They're doing, we're doing a competition which will be starting uh, probably in the next week or two. Yep. They're going to give away a free pizza to someone for a whole year, 12 months. Yeah, exactly. So that's so, a big competition. Just zoom in on the girls there. We've got an injured player at the moment. Yeah, and also, uh, you know, so I might have a site pizza. I'm off the drinks. So I'm going to just have a few Bunnaby waters. Um, and I've, I've had some Daryl Lee chocolate. I just had some Rice Bubbles milk chocolate. They were beautiful. How good are they? I think it'd be nice with a cuppa. But, but no, one, no one's bringing us a cup here. No one's delivering anything to us. But uh, um, we're up you, the you, back you, here at Redfern Oval in the howling wind, yeah. in the open wind. Uh, you can probably hear it through the commentary. But as the game has stopped here, the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs lead the South Sydney Rabbitohs 16 points to six in the Harvey Norman women's game. And there's 28 and a half minutes to go yep. in the second half. And Sachin. Bangara said stay hydrated and absolutely mate and this is the way we do it with our proud sponsor oh it's a bit close <laughs> Barnaby Water Water with a purpose I'm going to zoom out to show you of, uh, there it is there uh, they they're support us here in the show we love their work Al Daly he's from LARPA he's a local bloke he's having a go and so like I said go to barnabywater.com.au and when you sign up let them know that we sent you just so they know we're driving them some business and yeah, they're reasonably reasonably priced, you know, and uh, you can stock them in your restaurant, cafe, office, or business. Support our proud sponsor, Barnaby Water. Okay, let's get back to it, Brownie. It's sixteen six. We're still in this. There's twenty eight minutes to go, so the the girls have just got to defend, get the ball, and get down the other end of the field. Yeah, well, they certainly do, and it's been tough going. Uh, once again, a good tackle. Like the lower grades uh, going in, going into the wind in the second half, um, we indicated it was at least a 10 or 12 point wind yep. in the old scale, and the Bulldogs are still on the attack here in that, the second half. That was the centre there uh, that put that shot on. Uh, it's fielded there by the fullback. Take a lower. Well, a good run. Look at this. It's a nice run there, weaving, and she beats one or two tackles. Beautiful And play Molly Tagaloa takes it up to the 25-metre line. Is that who that was? Yes, it was. 35, I should have said. Yeah, the, the fullback, yep. This is what we want to see. Good attack here. It's a good set of six so far, Brownie. Thanks to that run from the fullback, got him on the front foot. That certainly did, Mavo, and she's been great all afternoon. And there's Duckett, who charges into the light. She's hard to handle, Duckett. Yes. She's put on a couple of great shots throughout the afternoon as Janae Collins there at dummy half gives great service there to Duff. Mum Lani said, I'll be at the footy on Saturday. You'll hear me because I'm the loudest one here. So, yeah, probably have heard her screaming out, but going out to the right. There's a kick there. There's Tagaloa again. Puts a nice kick in across field into the in goal. And the Bulldogs player's got to play at it. Will they take her back in the in goal? No, no she's strong it. enough to keep her position. What have I got? I've lost my sheets here, Brownie. I don't know if I've got yours. I don't know. I think I have. No, I've got mine. Sorry, mate. I've just lost the play there. Sorry, girls and boys. That's a good tackle there. I've missed, missed it. And what's happened? Penalty. Ah. So what have I done with me, me run sheets? I've got... 
I've lost my team sheets, Brownie. I'm, I'm just going to have to let you call the names from here, from here yeah, on. Yeah, that's all good, mate. All right, so. I'm just texting Blast Pit as we speak, yeah. trying to get in a massage tomorrow. We've been on our feet here for over eight hours. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not, it was a night eight. What time we start? <laughs> Ten, and what is it now? For so six hours. Well, we got here at nine. We got here at nine, so we've been on our feet since nine, so that's seven hours. Um, but we'll get there. It's all right. So there's only we got only got another 26 minutes to go, but we won't be staying along after the game, just so you know. So once the full time goes, so you won't be signing autographs? No, no, <laughs> no, for, no autographs. So. Anyway, we get back to the action here in the Harvey Norman women's game and the Canterbury Bulldogs lead the South Sydney Rabbitohs 16 points to 6. And like Mavo said, there's only 26 minutes to go, but a long, long time left in this game of footy for the Rabbitohs to get themselves back in the game. Yep. The dogs on the attack. Nice ball there. The halfback goes to the line, Renee Target. And picks up her outside man. There she goes again, Renee Target. She's running with a ball in two hands like a good halfback should. Puts yeah. the defenders in two minds when she carries the ball in two hands. Yeah, Ricky Stewart style. There's a kick there from the fullback. Abby Church, she's been outstanding. Yeah, and made the tackle there. Oh, she's hurting the tackle, the yeah. fullback. She can't, I mean, she might have caught a knee there as Church went over the top. And don't forget to keep live chatting, guys. Uh, yeah. Hard, direct running, Sashin uh, said. 100% cream. But I'm doing a few hamstring stretches here. Now so Trevor cream. Gillis said, why is the All-Stars on now and not later? Uh, I'll tell you why. So the, the All-Stars have probably kicked off and we might be able to get an update on the score. Yep. Uh, it's because... All the trials are now televised. There's Coach Shane there. He's just uh, brought a player off. Just going back to what I was saying, Mavo. All the trials. I'm just answering Trevor's, uh, yeah. Trevor Gillis's question. All the trials are televised on Fox. Yep. And they needed to fit them all in. And because it's a competition uh, this yep. trial season yep. for the two weeks, and there's 100,000 on offer, Foxtel are televising all the games and KO. So they have to fit all the games in. Yeah, but you would have thought that bloody All-Stars would be the prime time in the evening. I suppose it is 6 o'clock or whatever it is over there in New well, Zealand that's right. now. But still, it's not... Uh, didn't they take any consideration? So we've got the penalty here. So, I don't know, that's, that wind's probably roaring through our microphones. It is in our ears. Um, and it's 6-4 yeah, in front of the Maoris. I think she caught a knee there. Thank you very, very much for that. Uh, so the, Ma the, New the New Zealand Maoris are leading six points to four in front of the Indigenous All-Stars. Oh, there you go. So, And they've been going 20 minutes in the first half. Okay. There's the wind oh, howling. Oh, the wind's up. howling. Yep. No, it's a nor Was it a nor'easter brownie or something that's howling straight well, at us it's here? It's coming straight to us at the moment. Yeah, so it's the, the laptop's flapping around. But it's stayed there and... Everything's still going. Where everything's on pad. That's a good run there up through the middle. The Rabbitohs are still in this brown. It's 16 to six. Well, if they can score next, they're, they're right in the game. Let me tell you. Oh, commentators curse! It's happened a few times today. Yeah, too many <laughs> times. Too many times. Because that error is going to give the doggies the ball with 23 minutes 50. You can see it in the background. Yeah, and there. Rob just uh, reiterated what I just said. Reiterated. Reiterated. Rob Chalor, six points to four with 20 minutes gone. Okay. And now he's lead. Well, I've taped it, Brownie. I hope you press record on it so you can have a look later. Uh, it'll be good to have a look at the boys, especially the Bunnies boys. It's always good to watch the pregame stuff and all that, like we said. But, uh, and Duncan, Duncan Eerily, he's watching all the way from Bougainville in Papua New Guinea. Wow. He loves his, loves his Bulldogs. I've been over there. We played, we played the Kummels. That yep. was a great trip. Have you been Brownie? Or? Yeah, the, the Papua New Guineans, they love their footy over there. Don't I have they? been over there. Don't they? It's a national sport. It's the only country where rugby league is the national sport. And they've taken them out, the Bunnies. Great defence. Well, they needed that. They needed something. And I'm sure Coach Shane Sultana down there would be really happy with that. He wants his girls to lift now. You've got to give everything you've got to win this game of football. And, look, it'll be a big upset. Like I said, this side won 54-4 last week. So the fact that we're only 16-6 down yep. is a huge effort. 
And, and yeah, we can so score here, mate. But there's still 20, 22 minutes to go. We're down by 16 points to six, but the Rabbitohs are going to go on the attack here. And it's all about ball control. If we can get to our last tackle, nice ball there from Colin down to dummy half. Yep. Daughter of Snoopy. See what they can come up with here, Brownie. Turns it on the inside. Beautiful ball. That's a nice settler in the middle. And the doggy's defence yeah. is heavy defence. In numbers, too. From uh, the Jellaroo there. And Holly Wheeler. Yep. That was a bit of a poor ball from Dummy Half, but it's not a bad run. Just look at the leg drive, the post-contact metres, Brownie. We love that. And that's Simpson, who, on the tip sheet, loves the hard stuff. And she's been great all afternoon, Simpson. She's been amongst it. Nice ball, ball there, oh. and she puts her into a nice hole. Swoosh. Great defence there from the fullback, the halfback, Filippo. That was a beautiful ball, and she went, oh, oh. we scored Let the it go, try. Ref. Let it go. They play advantage. What happened to playing advantage, Brownie? <laughs> Anyway, he's made the decision. We love our officials here on Bunnies TV. Collins, Collins goes over and scores the try, but it's been disallowed. I wonder if that's Mitch Petrider out there. I'm not sure if it is. If his mum and dad's probably watching. He's a botany boy. He might have ref one of these games. I don't really pay much attention to who the ref is, but yeah. So let's get. Let's look for a try. That's a big charge again. Oh, oh she picks away. it up. And there's a try, Brownie, under the sticks. And well-deserved. That's the number 20, I think. No, number 20, Nicole Backhouse. She's been outstanding all day as well, Mabo. Yeah, yeah, she has. She's really played above her weight, plays the game hard. And like I said, I think she needs a hair elastic for her hair. It's <laughs> bobbling around. Yeah, yeah, she's... Uh, but that's a try, well-deserved. A bit like Wild Man Robbo back in the day. He wouldn't wear an elastic. <laughs> he didn't care. So to that's good. Where is she? Let's get her on camera. Nicole Backhouse. Where is she? She, she ran back. There she is, Avery. Let's Just get her there. on. Let's get her on. Look at that. So, yep. She's played well, Bernie. Yeah, she has. She really, has. really uh, deserved that try. She's uh, been committed in defence. And, uh, you yeah, know, there's not much on the river. She's not like a, a, a giant of a girl. So she's just obviously tough as they come. Yes. And uh, we need this kick in front now. There she is. She's just had a look around. So she's having a spell, is she or no? No, she's coming on. No, you wouldn't be taking her off, Brownie, I don't think. Young backhouse. So, oh. Yeah, so all well, this has brought life into the game. With thanks to NG Farrah's scoreboard, there's 20 to go. We're down 16-10 with a kick to come. It should be 16-12 shortly. And we we're within a try of this uh, going in the lead, Brownie. Well, we said we had to score next, and it's exactly what uh, young Nicole has done. She's put us in a position. As the fullback lines this up. lower. Take a lower, yep. Yeah. She was on the tip sheet. There's one to watch, and she's played well. And she and puts it over, makes no mistake. Over. There you go. And that takes the score to Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs 16, the South Sydney Rabbitohs 12, with 19 minutes to go. There it is on the scoreboard. There's the fullback who just kicked the goal. And this team. And Mavo, I'm just booked in the blast pit. You're in the blast pit there, okay. So, yeah, Nick gives you a... 10 a.m. tomorrow, mate. So you jump in the sauna, then Nick gives you a, a deep tissue massage, which yep. really sorts you out. You can put the, the suction cups on you too, Brownie, I think. Yeah, he does all the cupping. He does all, all that type of work, the scraping. Uh, he gives you a great massage in terms of the areas that you, you're tight or you feel. Mm. Like tomorrow I'm probably getting to work on my hips and my hip flexors. Yep. Uh, my lower back, we've been standing all day here at Redfern Oval calling these four games. Then he'll put you on a gravity table where you'll hang upside down. Oh, it's and gone. Oh, oh no. And Jeez, then he'll jump in the ice bath, Mavo, to finish it off, and you'll walk out feeling a million dollars. That could have nearly went out on the full brownie. It could have. I thought it was. I'm just going to watch the replay. Yeah. A little bit behind here on our... On our on our call, but yeah, so you're watching this at about a five second delay. So Brownie watches the, the replay on YouTube as, as it catches up. And so, anyway, they're on the attack now. It is danger now for the bunnies. They've given them the doggies possession right on the 10 meter line. As Wheeler takes it into the defensive line, and yeah, I might have just dropped. She, I think she had to play it at Mavo. She did the right thing, but unfortunately, came up with an error as the Bulldogs go on the attack. They lead 16 points to 12 with 17 minutes to oh, go. And they've turned it and over. they've turned it over. And oh. it's a let off for the Rabbitohs. We needed this. Oh, oh. what's south of... What? 
Now he's reeling the Rabbitohs have knocked on. Oh, it's controversial here. And we've got a lot of people still live chatting. Karina Haas, all the way from Germany. A shout out to you. The Haza. bunny's back in the game. Haza, yeah, sorry. We did interview her on the show when she told us it's Haza, even though it's spelled, it sounds Haza. like Haas. So thank you for Karina. She's always supporting us here on the show. They're having a drinks break now, Brownie. So yeah, there's a the 17 minutes to go. We're down by a try and we're 0-3 on our four call. <laughs> Our four call, four live streams. It's been a marathon effort. Unfortunately, Chaps would love to have been here doing it with us, but he, he's had a, a family uh, commitment some commitment, and he couldn't make it. Um, there's been plenty of drinks breaks during the day. We've had a bit of our Daryl Lee Rice Bubbles milk chocolate. We're also brought to you by, well, let me just play the little spiel so we can have a drink. Bunnies TV is proudly brought to you by Daryl Lee, George's Cameras, Site Pizza, the Juniors Gripper Clubs, Dot Build Constructions, NG Farrah, Bunnaby Water, and Blast Pit. So as I just have a sip on a Bunnaby Water there, so yeah, love all our sponsors. There's a link to our sponsors in the description of this video. So you just there's a drop down box you click. There's links, clickable links. Please support our sponsors because they're all Aussie owned companies local businesses and they support us here on the show which which without them you wouldn't be watching this so that's why you in return if you can support them to show your support for being able to watch this game and yep we're nearly there brownie but this is uh danger time now is he is he ruled south to drop the ball or has we got the ball i don't know oh uh, no it's going to be a canterbury feed here yeah okay as the canterbury halfback she picks it up renee target she picks it up to feed the ball yeah, in the middle line. of the field, yep, so on we, the 15 metre line, they're only 15 metres out from their goal line. They're going to go right on the attack here. The Bulldogs, with 17 minutes to go, they lead 16 points to 12. Well, the game's on the line, Brownie. We've got to hold them out. If they score here, then there might not be uh, any coming back. So they've got to have a big defensive effort here, the girls. That was great speed off the line from Michaela Ellie there from the Rabbitohs. 17 to go here, second half at Redfern Oval, live and free. On Bunnies TV, you can get us on YouTube, TikTok. They go back out to the left-hand side. Oh, long ball. Murphy passes it to the winger. Long ball out. Steps, beats one, beats two. Is that the number 19, Brownie? Yeah, unfortunately I don't have her number, so... No, OK. Apologies uh, if we can't get all the names right. Wheeler. Out the back to oh, target. Put it down and oh, she was nearly away there, the South girl. But we've got the ball, the 16.30 left, but they've got 90 metres between them and the try line. So let's hope they can get down there into this heavy breeze. So they've got to get to their kick. So they've got to get some metres, otherwise the kick's not going to go far, I can tell you right now. So they are up against it, but it's going to take a big performance to get out of this game with a win. Let's see how they go. It's just important that they get to the kick, even if it's not a long one. They can't afford. Look at this defence from the doggies. There's four, four or five in the tackle there. So yeah, they're obviously up for the challenge as well. So we're off to the right now. Show go. That was good. Offload and there's a knock on. Oh no, he's let it go there. We'll take that. Yeah, no, he's found it. I think he's got tipped off there. Oh, boy. One of his touches, and that is exactly what we didn't want because, like I said, to win this game, we need to get down the other end. And now we are going to give the doggies the ball on our own 40. Sorry, Mabel, I was just having a few rice bubble chocolates there. That's all we've eaten all day is a yeah. few little rice bubble milk chocolate from Daryl Lee. Yeah. Been making it better since 1927. What an outstanding product they are. Yep. Daryl Lee, not only in chocolate, but licorice as well. So you can get them in all leading supermarkets, Brownie, as you know. IGA, Woolies, Coles, and you can get them at uh, the, uh, the movies too. You go and watch a movie, there's always Daryl Lee there. So get some get some Daryl Lee and go and watch a movie. Get yourself a choc top. There he is. Oh, he's on silent there, he's back. So they go on the left here, and that same deal. We've got to hold them out, Brownie. There's 14 minutes 45 left. 
We're down by uh, four points, so we can't be letting them score here. Turn it on the inside. Good ball. Uh. Sorry, I'm trying to talk while I'm chewing on a chocolate ball. I should have had a blow, but oh, it's exciting here. Sorry about that. There's uh, oh, Wheeler, Holly Wheeler. Wheeler. Holly Wheeler. Wheeler. There's the last tackle. We've got to hold him out. Nice goal line defence there from the Rabbitohs. Got the kick. Oh, well done to Tagliolo to cover oh, the yes. ball and get back in the field of play. Oh, well, that was that could be game-changing, Brownie. She's got out of her own in goal, fielded it beautifully there. Great skill there by the South's fullback. And now they've got their work cut out again against this great defensive effort from the bo from the doggies who are uh, it's like a brick wall. Look at those in the tackle there. So we're on the second tackle. We're only out 12 metres out. Same way they've gone out to the right. There's a few metres there. That was good. So this time we did set need to get the kick. <laughs> I know I said it last time, but this time it's very important. And that's a good run. So there's last tackle. They're on the 30. Three metre line. It goes back. And it's gone up high. I think it could be going out on the full. Sorry about the camera work. I watched it, but <laughs> um, yeah, poor camera work there. Sorry, but it was going out on the full. I could see it from when it came off the boot, and I made the error of watching the ball instead of watching the viewfinder. But as you can see, now they're back where they started on the last set of six. With the doggies got the ball on their own 40. And they need to hold them out again. 13 minutes left here at Redfern Oval. This is game four of four, live and free on Bunnies TV. Live streaming. We'll be back here in round seven. So we're having a bit of a break now. We don't do the away games. So they'll be back at Redfern Oval. The boys are playing the West Tigers. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's in May or something like that. Uh, the boys are playing the West Tigers. The girls are playing the Roosters. And there's four games back here at Redfern. But, uh, yeah, so we're having a break from then. We will be doing the alarm, the post-game shows for the members at the Rabbitohs games, but that's not for a while too because they're all away games to start with. And we apologise for the wind, guys. We're, we're not in a closed box here at Redfern. We're in the open and the wind is just howling through us. But I just want to read a message from Ch TJ Maxwell, who we met uh, in the cafe. Yeah. No, no, she's in New no, Zealand. she's in New Zealand. Yeah, she's that's in a... New Zealand. And she said, thank you so much for the live stream. Uh, we'll be watching all the lives you do for the Tasha Gale squad. So Beautiful. A big yep. thank you uh, yep. for tuning in. And oh, they've a... turned it over. That's what they needed, the girls. And TJ, we found out her name is Minnie. So thank you, Minnie. Um, we will no longer be calling you TJ unless we forget. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Minnie uh, Maxwell uh uh, po, pu Aho Toa. Pu Aho Toa. Thank you for helping me to learn how to pronounce that. <laughs> I just forgot again, but we'll get there. We'll be, it'll be rolling off the tongue by the end of the Tasha Gale season, and uh, hopefully the girls can bounce back next week. I think they, where are they going next week, Brownie? The, the girls, they're out, they're away. I think it might be West they're playing. I'll have to check that. I will check that before the end of the coverage to let you know where all these teams are going to be playing next week. But this is a big opportunity now for South. They got the ball, first tackle on the 30, you know, five metre mark. And they really need to advance the ball down the end of the field because a converted try will see him go to the lead. Oh, this defence from the Bulldogs is like a brick wall. It's very hard to break um, for the Rabbitohs. As they make, and there's another oh, error from the Rabbitohs. A uh, strip. I was going to say strip, yeah. Brownie, but I didn't want to yeah. preempt the ref. But gee, we needed well, that. Well, you are on the camera, Mavo. You got the best view there. I have, yeah, on yeah. the camera. Yeah, I've got the zoom in, and I suppose, but you probably but, wouldn't kick for a touch here. The wind is too strong. No, they're not going to. So they're going to just take the ball on the 50. There's 11 minutes to go, and gee, they need a, a meat pie, Brownie. Great run there from. Who's oh, that? And That's the offload. Killing the Hussey. They're away. It's from Simpson. Simpson. She's oh. been involved in all the attack all day, Simpson. Let's go, Rabbitohs. They come down the left hand side. Honda Duff, who passes it out to. Oh, to the touchy. To the touchy. <laughs> oh. oh, that's been touched, has it? Oh, touched by the Rabbitohs, is it? Not sure what he's saying there. What's the ref saying? Oh, this might be. I think this, we've got it, Brownie. This might yeah, be a yeah, rabbit yeah, There's a deflection. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. So 
We're still going with a chance here. I've got a feeling it's got to be now, Brownie. It's got to be now the try that's got to come. Yeah. Even though there's 10 minutes to go, which is a long time. But this is the best field position we've had, I think, in the second half. So let's see if they can get the points on the board. Oh, no. Let's play it's on. It's gone play. backwards. I thought the commentator's curse. <laughs> commentator's curse again. <laughs> anyway. And there's, there's a, a penalty. penalty. So we'll take that now. And if you've just joined us, there's only bit. 10 minutes to go in the Harvey Norman women's game. And Canterbury leads 16 points to 12. A, a try here. We'll see them. And they'll level up. And then a kick to go to the front. So there's a hit up now. Come on, girls. Coach Shane Sultana there. He'll be barking instructions down on the sideline. Filippo goes into dummy half. Throws a nice long ball out to Duff. Who throws a nice ball there to Rada Roka. Good tackle. Really good tackle up in Raka the face. Roka, Raka Droka. Tagaloa getting herself involved. Only 10 metres out. Long ball, short ball. She's held onto it. Offload. Oh, nice offload. Oh, they've up to the task there in defence, the Doggies girls. There's two more tackles left, I think. We're going to the left, two passes. Oh, good run and there. big killer, Samasi. The big number 10 on the charge. He's drawn in some defenders now. Let's see what they can do. We're going left, ball went to ground. Oh, Tagaloa takes him on herself. Oh, and it's a the turnover. Last tackle. Turns the ball over. She probably should have released it. They had yeah. an overlap there. Yeah, they had the numbers on the left there, Brownie. I think it was a poor decision, but, you know, she's backed herself. She can't really blame the girl, but now they need to keep them down here if possible. So they've got to really muscle up in defence here, Brownie. Just come off the line, spoot off the line, and uh, keep this impressive Bulldogs team in their own quarter. And she's pushed it down there, or oh, milking, I think. The refs called it. As Collins goes back on the field... To replace as an injured player down here, uh, just down here on the sideline. And I yeah, think it's a halfback, Filippo. Yep, it is. Uh, it looks like she's been winded. But young Collins takes her place back on the field. Yep. So the doggies, they've kept them in the, in the 30 for the first few tackles. Let's see if they can hold on to them. There's only 7 minutes 54 to go. Bit of a high tackle there, but they've got away with it. Probably just a body... Body's and there's another together. injury to the Rabbitoh. She's in back play. Offload there. You've got to stop, lock, stop the offloads. Oh, Michaela she's... Ellie in back play. She's down injured. So they're playing with 12 men. It is the last tackle here as the Bulldogs and Target puts a nice little kick in and it's going to go over the sideline. Well left there by uh, number two. That is Paige Knapp. And the Rabbitohs will get the ball on a turnover. So we're going to stop the game here for a drink. We've got to play it no, down. We've got an injured. I think she might have a cramp, Brownie. She's she's talking about holding the leg up. Yeah. Um, uh, she's not the only one that's got cramps. Uh, yeah. one, of the, one of the commentators. Yeah, is... both, both of the commentators are, are starting to knock up. Um, there's seven minutes, 20 to go here. I'll just show you the scoreboard. That's the equation that and faces the bunnies. And just a reminder, you can got keep live chatting all the way to the end. Yep. There's seven minutes to go, like Mavo just said, in the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs. They lead 16 points to 12 over the South Sydney Rabbitohs in this Harvey Norman women's game. It is round two. Yep, and I'll just I'll try and have a look at that before we let before we let them go. So yeah, okay. So next week, uh, yeah, the the, ball, the SG ball and the and the mats are playing the Magpies at Kirkham Oval. So the the mats are on at 2.30 and the SG ball on at 4 p.m. But at the same venue, the Tasha Gale and the women's are playing the West Tigers. So the Tasha Gale plays first, 11.30. Then the women at 1 o'clock. So it's just a different order. Tasha Gale, women, mats and SG ball. Out at Kirkham Oval, so we won't be going there. The following week, they're at Newcastle. Then they're at Cronulla. And then they're at uh, Panthers. And then they finally get back to Redfern for, like I said, the Tigers and the Roosters game at Redfern Oval. Then they're back at Redfern the following week to play the Sea Eagles and the Winnie Magpies. And then Redfern Oval the following week after that to play the Dragons. So there's a three weeks in a row back to Redfern. I'm not sure if we're going to do them all. Depends who's available. We might need to bring stools or something, Brownie, I think. This <laughs> would have made it a bit easier. But uh, yeah, anyway, it's a, we've never done four before. We've found out what it's like. and uh, we can been report, a marathon effort here. <laughs> we can report that it is... 
it is um, it is a, a, a big effort. But listen, we believe we've it's been good. well supported by the live chat as well. So we have the live chat has kept us going. Yeah, and and also. It's been great for us because we know that every time we do these lives, we gain new subscribers, we gain a new audience. So we've worked hard. It's a sm we're a small business that we're trying to get established. We've started with, we started doing a podcast on my phone in Brownie's dining room. We had no idea, and we've progressed to where we are now. As uh, you know, we feel like we've we've got to where we need to be as far as the technology we're using, the audio, the video. And Michaela Ellie just limps off the field. Uh, we're down on troops here. Yeah. The Rabbitohs, but there still is seven minutes to go. We're still in the game. Yep. It's only a one-try game. The Bulldogs lead 16 points to 12. With seven minutes to go here at sunny Redfern Oval. The sun's still shining. When doesn't it shine at Redfern? Yeah. Oh, then, right now. Oh. <laughs> Another commentator's curse. Oh, my God. We, I was just going to say we need a try, and we cough possession up, and... Let's just hope they don't pay. The Bulldogs have not managed to put a try on, I don't think, in this second half, Brownie, which is a, a great... Great effort great by the Rabbitohs. Yeah, that is. That's correct. They've they've had they've faced stiff opposition, to, to put it mildly. And um, we have played a better second half, says Bopper Macca. So that's exactly what I was just saying there. I didn't copy your comment. I just said, and we both agree there. So there you go. Off to the left there now. Bulldogs v Rabbitohs. They're always a, a, you know, we're always been rivals. Brownie, we've played in grand finals. We always play on our Easter now, the Good Friday game in the first grade. So rivals, a friendly rivalry between the two clubs. Yeah, two Sydney clubs, uh, which only in this. Oh, Holly Wheeler. Holly Wheeler. So she, it happens to the best of them. There you go. So. Holly Wheeler puts it down and gives the opportunity to the Rabbitohs again, invites them into the game. We're behind 16 points to 12 with five minutes to go, so still plenty of time. Is that Snoopy there, Brownie? That's Snoopy there, yeah, Snoopy there he Collins. Is. He's got his uh, young son there with the South jersey on, so he's yep. he's going to call out to him. <laughs> nah, it's all good. So his daughter's out there playing. Um, there's a fair crowd in. We're just pan around. The Bunnies need a try. There's five minutes 31. The clock's counting down. There's Johnny, the the world's best... Uh, Timekeeper. Timekeeper. And uh, the Bunnies now... With a few injuries on the sideline, they've lost their halfback. They knew to try, so it's going to take a big effort. But let's see what they can do. They got some talent in this side, Brownie. So let's see if they can go march down the field and get a try. We'll put him in this game with a chance to win it. They've got out past the 30 now. I haven't got a team sheet. I've gone missing, but it's probably blown away. Oh, it's got to be. Oh no! Poor pass from Dummy Half there, and that wasn't what we needed. We needed good service out of Dummy Half. Um, yeah. So now, uh, oh, and that's it, a good tackle there from uh, from Duckett, and he's given a penalty. And oh, I suspect they'll take the kick here, Brownie, to soak the clock up. I would have a blow. Well, they've got the win. They should get the distance. Yeah, I think they, uh, that's the smart decision. I've just seen someone point at the posts and. Um, that could, that could be just... No, hang on. They uh, might just take the run it. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So The halfback, Renee Target's got the ball in the hands. She's going to tap it. Yeah, well, they want to put the game beyond doubt. So if they score here, she it's all over. She it to Satia. All over Red Rover if they score here. Sarah Satia. Yep. Well done, There's Brownie. Wheeler out yep. the back to Target, who once again goes out the back. Great defence there from the Rodos, who chimed in. Uh, Brownie, before we, Shannon, Mura. before we finish this game, I think you've done a good job. You, you weren't too sure how you'd go as a caller, and I, I've let you do most of the calling, and you've done well in the absence of chaps. Well, it's hard uh, when you don't know a lot of the players as well, Mavo, but we're, we're getting through it. And, uh, uh, my word, you've done, a, you've done a good job, mate. Well, I think we've both done a great job. We've missed chaps immensely, and chaps will be back with us the next game that we uh, live stream. Yep, so... We're obviously better with our third host, but oh, she's died from dummy half like Mario. Oh Fennig. no, she's come up short, and she's, she's lost, lost the ball. ball. Hold on. Well, so, Brownie, there is life in this game. Go. There's life in this game. They've got to go 98 meters, or they'll be able to bring it out to the 10, surely, won't they? That'll, that's where the scrum will be, unless it's uh, knock on. In. 
Yeah, we know. Yeah, Johnny's just told us they've won by 50, so they put 50 on the Dragons. They've put 16 on us. So we're better than them. So hopefully when we play the Dragons, we, I don't know if we, we're even going to play them, but hopefully they do. And, um, yeah. It's a great effort uh, by the Rabbitohs. Some great defence because we've been under a lot of pressure for most of this second half into this howling wind. Yep. We did say it was a 10 to 12 point win. It's only 16 points to 12, so they've done extremely well. The South Sydney Rabbitohs girls. It's like coming up the rise at Randwick into a stiff breeze, oh. Brownie. This is what the girls face. We need a heroin out there. Over we need it. We need over someone. A mile. So we, Milo, we need we need winks. <laughs> Milo Williams says, "Love your work, guys." As a doggy supporter, I really appreciate the effort you put in. Well, thank you, mate. Appreciate that. We uh, it's good to hear the feedback, and that's a good run. That's what we want on the first tackle. Now, come on, girls. There's a try in is there. We, all we need is one more. Great run there from Killer, Killer Masasi. Yeah. Killer Masasi. We'll have to go to train and ask her how she pronounces that. Killer Samasi. Yeah, that's Killer it. Killer Samasi. Yeah. And there she is again. And nice off, ball. Offload. Nice offload. Good. That's good from the Bunnies. The crowd's the come bunnies, to The Bunnies, they're getting a roll on here. Oh, and a penalty. A penalty. Here we go, Brownie. Post-contact murders. I need a quick tap here. There's a minute 49 to go. They need yeah. to get the ball and carry on here. Get back there. That's it. So they got to get. They got to run 60 meters, 64 one, meters. One set of six, Brownie. One set of six. Wouldn't it be nice for a see a grandstand finish here on Bunnies TV? Live and going free. Down. They're going to send on the number 11. She's got a card. See if she can get out there. She's going to pull someone off. Get 11 on there. She's obviously got the uh, the attack in her. That's Majors, I think. And the right, that was Lani then, I'm pretty sure, that was stealing oh, out. Oh, that's play on. That's play on. Play it's gone back. back. Oh, danger, danger, danger. Great defence from the Bulldogs. They're forcing the Rabbitohs to throw some passes that are going on the ground. There's Tagaloa. She's a danger girl. She's one player that can get us up the other end of the field. There's a minute to go, Brownie. This game is almost done. Collins from dummy half. Good run there, beats one. From Longford. I think we've got to send it wide. We've got to throw it around, Brownie. They've got to try and them, these girls. Yes, we're going Nice left. ball. Yeah. Oh, it's oh, real it forward. Is. And that should be the ball game. And she's copped a shot there, the 16 for a trouble. 16 points to 12 with only 35 seconds to go. And the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs should go on to win this game from here. Yes, they will. And we'll just leave you with this as, a, as the full-time siren sounds. Bunnies TV is proudly brought to you by Daryl Lee, George's Cameras, Site Pizza, the Juniors Gripper Clubs, Dot Build Constructions, NG Farrah, Bunnaby Water, and Blast Pit. And that was right on cue there, Mavo, as the sponsors get a mention, and so they deserve, but well-deserved winners as well to the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs. They run out winners, 16 points to 12, over the South Sydney Rabbitohs women's team. And look, uh, all four games today, Mavo, uh, it's been a great effort from the Rabbitohs and a credit to the Bulldogs. We spoke to some of their staff earlier in Barry Ward and Shane Millard, and they've got some great systems put in place. They have, mate, yep. And it's been a big day. We're going to wrap it up there. Um, and who, there's Barry down there. Where is he, Wardy? Yeah, there he is. We'll get, we'll get him on there. He's uh, yeah. our former teammate. He's he, a great he, man, Baz. Yeah, there he is. He's We're doing just... great things at the Bulldogs. And uh, another man who's doing great there is uh, Phil Gould, who's putting things in place. And this club is going to be a force to be reckoned with in a couple of years' time, let me tell you. Yep. Especially at the top level. Uh, where they've signed a number of players this year and they've still got some money left to sign players for next year. And I just want to give a shout out to all the live people who have watched this live and chatted and donated throughout the day. It's been an awesome day for Bunnies TV where we've brought you four live games here at Redfern Oval. Thanks for joining us on Bunnies TV Live and Free. We'll see you next time as the girls huddle up out there. It's been a big day, and thank you, Rob Trelaw. He said the live feed. Thanks for the.